Grand Rising loved ones, welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, <laughs> your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. How y'all doing? I hope everybody is well. I hope everybody is well. I know you are. You, you look good. You look damn good, okay? Happy Friday. So today, I want to talk to you guys about, first and foremost, let me say that this topic I'm going to discuss, I have never heard of this. I came up with this whole concept, the whole ideal, the whole hypothesis of this syndrome. So therefore, if you hear it from anybody else or anywhere else, you heard it here first. You got that from me, okay? But anywho, today I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I call young boy syndrome. Me personally, it, it, the reason why I call it young boy is because one of my favorite artists, you know, I'm sure it's a lot of people's favorite artists, um, you know, young boy, never broke again, hold it down. I, I, I love his music. I feel whenever I listen to his music, you know, I'm clear audience. So I feel the messages and stuff and I see his struggles that he's going through. And a lot of times there are a lot of us that the devil wants, basically. And I see the patterns of the things that he go. And, you know, basically the doctor in me has been studying and analyzing not only him, but other people who have the same issues that I have noticed. And so with all of that, and my psychological expertise, because yes, I did also study psychology in college. Thank you very much, so I'm kind of smart. But this is the conclusion that I have come up with, and I just want to share it with you guys in the hopes that perhaps if you or someone you know is suffering from young boy syndrome, you can identify it and you can, you know, heal yourself and change. Because honestly, I love me some young boy. And I think all he really needs is some healing. And a lot of us need healing, but because we can't identify the issues, we're unable to heal. So hopefully this can help anybody who may be suffering from young boy syndrome. And Lord willing, hopefully one day he'll see this video and maybe it will help him to heal the issues that he has inside so that he can live his best prosperous life because that young man has a purpose and the devil wants him bad. So I will continue to hold them up in my prayers. But with that being said, let's move on. Young boy syndrome is when you form numerous toxic karmic soul ties with someone through a child without healing childhood trauma or attempting to break toxic generational curses. And I say this because um, if you listen to young boy's music and the lyrics, the things that he's saying, a lot of people don't, I feel like a lot of people don't take him seriously just because, you know, he was a, a teen father. As a teen parent, that does not make you a bad person. A lot of times that tends to make you grind harder. But, you know, when you have a lot of childhood traumas and stuff, a lot of people try to fix issues with a baby. And that does not work. A lot of people, because they did not have that relationship when they were younger with their parent or because they did not have that love, they feel like having a child will suffice, that will fill that gap, that will hold that person. It, it's, it doesn't. It does not. People with mommy or daddy issues, they have a higher propensity towards this. But more so, this is a narcissistic trait because the toxic narcissistic person in the relationship will find a person with issues and use a child as a method of control and or manipulation. And it's true. If you pay attention, I, I, don't, I don't know all his baby mamas and stuff, but as I said before, I know other people who suffer from the same affliction of young boy syndrome. And what I have noticed is the pattern of, you know, the people that they choose to procreate with, um, they're not, I'm not saying that they're bad people, but they tend to come from either either broken homes or have daddy issues or have experienced childhood trauma. And they also tend to be, um, I don't know if it's the, just the black culture or certain geographical locations where they're unable to access the necessary help or care in order to deal with those issues. And also too, in the African American community, it, it has also been very taboo for mental health care until recently when people are starting to step out and get that help. So therefore, a lot of these people, they grew up with these issues, they grew up with these childhood traumas, and that's another form of trauma bonding that they do with that person 
in the hopes that from their childhood issues or traumas, they will come together, they will bond, and they're going to make another child that's probably going to be traumatized as well due to the lack of a parent or that, that proper, uh, you know what I'm saying, affection and time and care and everything that a parent has to do because the narcissist or the toxic person, you know, once they've put that seed there and they feel like they can always come back in toxic form or fashion, they move on. So then the child ends up with trauma as well and the cycle just repeats and that also is the cause of generational curses and that's something that we need to realize and pay attention to. Yes, boom, blew your mind, didn't it? Young boy syndrome displays two conflicting sides. One, the side that wants to be loved and looks for it in someone or something else and then abuses it. And then two, the side that craves to do better and thinks that they can do better to, and thinks that they can do that, excuse me, by procreation, but they are unhealed and end up causing long-term effects in a family dynamic just like i said repeating the toxic cycles and generational curses so it's just like i said i just rephrased it for y'all the premise behind young boy syndrome is get as many kindred spirits to fall in love with the fantasy that their love will heal you and i definitely 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 noticed that trait in young boy especially whether 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 he would want to hear it or acknowledge it or not everybody sees his pain he's very open with the things that he's been through and the trauma in his life which is very good but instead of healing from it by talking about it and putting it in his music because he maybe is not in the right environment or around the right people you know that toxicity he doesn't heal from it and then you have the empaths or the young ladies young dumb in love whatever you want to call it because there's always an empath and narcissist dynamic so the females they see him and they're sensitive to his situation and because he also has so many outstanding qualities because let's see he's a charmer he's talented you know he's a great personality and everything like that when he's not being crazy along with the other people you know they feel as though their love will heal them and i am guilty of that as well i definitely have been a victim of young boy syndrome because when i was younger i always thought that my love was enough to heal people not just in personal relationships friends co-workers everybody i thought that my love would be enough to heal that person and then i had to realize that you cannot heal people people have to want to heal themselves healing starts from within so and that's something also that um i think i feel as though young boy is searching for love in the wrong places he's searching not only does he have bitterness and resentment towards certain females you know maybe from maybe from situations that happen in his youth you know with his matriarchal figures he has you know those built up resentments and those feelings and stuff about that but then also too you have to realize okay these things happen to me as i always say and then you have to take the lesson from that and you have to heal but all of that starts within everybody in the world can give you all the love that they have but if you have not healed within and if you have not went within to see how that how the situations that you went through and the childhood traumas and the relationship issues how those affected you and worked those out you're never it's never going to work and then once that once that empath once they give all the love to him and they're like, well, maybe a baby, if we come together, we can have the family that we never had and he'll be healed. Once that does not work, the narcissist will leave because after that, he's going to feel emotionally drained. He's gave all that he can give in his unhealed state because when you're not healed, you can only give so much and you can't fully give your heart to somebody if you're not healed. You cannot. It all starts within true love starts within it starts with self true healing starts within it starts with self you can't look for healing in the wrong places and a lot of times people who have young boy syndrome they look for healing in the wrong places the wrong things i.e between somebody else's legs a baby is only a band-aid if those childhood issues are not healed and god forbid we pass those on to our children 
that's why I hope and I pray and I will continue to keep young boy in my prayers. One day I will help you, young boy. One day we'll meet. But until then, hold your head up while you're sitting down. And anybody else who has experienced the side effects or the effects of young boy syndrome or know somebody who suffers from that as, as well, you can only do but so much. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. The most that you can do is show that person by example how to heal instead of falling into that narcissist impact dynamic and giving more of yourself and sacrificing your heart and your womb to be hurt again for possibly the next 18 years. That's all I have to say about that, guys. Short and sweet, just like me. <laughs> but anyway, you guys enjoy your weekend. I'll be coming back because today is Friday, so we're going to have a fluidic Friday. You guys be blessed, and I love you.